Welcome to Yoga Hour. My name is Steven. Please lay flat on your back for a momentary shavasana. The word of the day is growth. All the time I'm thinking about the future. Where will I be tomorrow or who will I be five or ten years from now? What skills will I have developed? I tend to over fixate on this future idea of me. When I look back at who I am now, in comparison to future me, I don't seem like much. I hardly measure up to the impossible standards that I set for myself. In moments of clarity, I realize that in thinking like this, I'm missing out on recognizing how far I have come, how much I am growing in every moment. When I step back and acknowledge this, I understand that my efforts aren't for nothing. Every bit of study, practice, and life experience is serving me in some way. In my yoga practice, this thinking of the future manifests as trying to progress too quickly and attempting postures that I'm not quite ready for. If a teacher brings up an advanced pose, you can bet I'm going to do it, but this isn't always ideal. I've noticed that sometimes white knuckling through advanced poses can actually take me backwards in progress. But I notice that if I stay at my level and work with a more simplistic or easy version of the pose, I frequently get more out of it. Then later, when I return to the advanced pose, I'm happy to find out that I'm more equipped to give it a go. This is my offering for you today. As we go through this practice of asana, I will be offering many different stages for the poses. I encourage you to stay with the variation that works for you, the one that gives you the most access to your body. This isn't always the most flashy, but it has so much to offer. Remember, growth happens in stages. Carefully bend your knees and roll to your right, then press yourself up into a seated position. Let's get started. Begin in a tabletop position facing the front of your mat with your arms and upper legs straight up and down. Bring your knees and ankles together with the tops of your feet on the ground. Line up the middle of your wrists with your outer shoulders. Separate your fingers evenly and point your index fingers straight ahead. Round and keep rounding your back for cat pose. Round your shoulders off of your back and extend your arms into the ground to capacity. Return to a neutral spine, then lower the front of your body to the ground. Locust 1. Bring your arms alongside your torso, backs of hands on the ground. Lift your chest slightly, gaze forward. Bring your ankles and thighs together and squeeze them in. Tuck your tailbone and pelvic thrust strongly into the ground. Lengthen out through your big toes. Squeeze your shoulders together onto your back. Lift your chest. Reach your chest forward, shoulders back. Lower down. Place your palms on the ground beside your ribs and press yourself back up to all fours. Tiger pose. Lift your left leg parallel to the ground. Straighten your leg, point your foot, point your kneecap down. Press your tailbone down. Lengthen out through your big toe and lift through your inner thigh. Press your base knee into the ground. From the root of your upper thigh, grow your thigh out from your hip socket and down into the ground. Lower your leg, switch sides. Lift your right leg parallel to the ground. Straighten your leg, point your foot, point your kneecap down. Press your tailbone down. Lengthen out through your big toe and lift through your inner thigh. Press your base knee into the ground. From the root of your upper thigh, grow your thigh out from your hip socket and down into the ground. Lower your leg, 
then lower the front of your body to the ground. Locust 2. Bring your arms alongside your torso, backs of hands on the ground. Lift your chest and gaze forward. Bring your ankles and thighs together and squeeze them in. Tuck your tailbone and pelvic thrust strongly into the ground. Lengthen out through your big toes. Squeeze your shoulders together onto your back. Stay here or interlace your fingers behind your back and as long as you can keep your shoulders on your back, begin to or straighten your arms. Lift your chest. Reach your chest forward, shoulders back. Lower down, make a pillow with your hands and rest your forehead. Superhero. Bring your arms out in front of you and place your palms together. Chop the pinky edges of your hands down and attempt to drag them towards you to lift your armpits. Squeeze your legs in. Tuck your tailbone. With an inhale, lift your arms and legs off of the ground. Lengthen out through your fingertips and big toes. Lower down. Press yourself back into downward facing dog. In down dog, bring your feet to hip width distance and your hands outer shoulder width distance. Straighten your legs and tighten your kneecaps. If with straight legs your lower back rounds, bend your knees until you can find a natural curve in your lower back. Press your hands down and forward, feet down and back. Attempt to drag your hands out to the sides and attempt to drag your feet out to the sides. Fill the corners of your body. Breathe. Lower your knees to the ground. Thunderbolt, arms extended. Have a seat on your heels with your toes curled under. Interlace your fingers and bring the backs of your hands to the top of your head. Squeeze your shoulders together on your back. Straighten your arms. Relax your tailbone down. Create space between your lowest ribs and hips by moving your ribs back. Lift your chest. Extend your arms up and back. Lower your arms. Bring the tops of your feet to the ground. Twisted Hero. Bring your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Bring the back of your right hand to your lower back. Squeeze your thighs in. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist to your right. Twist your hips to the left, upper body to the right. Gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale, untwist. Bring your right hand to the outside of your left knee. Bring the back of your left hand to your lower back. Squeeze your thighs in. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist to your left. Twist your hips to the right, upper body to the left. Gaze over your left shoulder. Inhale, untwist. Forearm plank. Bring your forearms to the ground at the front of your mat with your elbows as wide as your shoulders and your fingers pointing straight ahead. Walk your feet to the back of your mat and come into forearm plank with your knees on or off the ground. Lower your hips to be about the same height as your shoulders. Squeeze your thighs in, tuck your tailbone. Position your shoulders directly above your elbows, not beyond. Without moving them, attempt to drag your elbows apart to tone your outer shoulders and grow your upper arms into the ground. Point the center of your chest forward to create a slight arch in your upper back.
stay here or for dolphin pose, keep the arch in your upper back as you walk your feet in. Move towards a down dog position with your forearms down. Do not walk so far forward that your shoulders go beyond your elbows. Lower the front of your body to the ground. Extend your arms out in front of you, parallel to one another, palms facing in. Topsy-turvy. Make blades with your hands and karate chop into the ground. Attempt to drag your hands towards you to create a slight lift in your armpits. Lift your left leg, straighten your leg, point your toes. Lift your right arm. Kick your right leg into the ground and chop your left arm down. Lifted limbs extend out through your fingers and toes. Lower down, switch sides. Lift your right leg, straighten your leg, point your toes. Lift your left arm. Kick your left leg down into the ground and chop your right arm down. Lifted limbs extend out through your fingers and toes. Lower down. Bring your forehead to the ground. Crocodile. Interlace your fingers behind your head or bring your fingertips to your temples. Bend your knees to capacity, point your feet. One at a time, walk both thighs back to find length in your quads. Bring the inner edges of your feet together. Squeeze thighs in, press your tailbone down. With an inhale, lift everything but your hips off of the ground. Squeeze your shoulders together onto your back, press your elbows back. Lower down, then press yourself up to all fours. Twisted Child's Pose. Lean weight into your right hand. Open your chest to the left and extend your left arm straight up. Then swing your left arm underneath your torso and twist. Make a fist with your left hand and press your fist and entire left arm into the ground. Walk your right hand out forward and long, like down dog or regular child's pose. To aid the twist, press your left hand down and attempt to drag it towards you. Press your right hand down and away from you. Walk your right hand back beside your face. Untwist, return to all fours. Lean weight into your left hand. Open your chest to the right and extend your right arm straight up. Then swing your right arm underneath your torso and twist. Make a fist with your right hand and press your fist and entire right arm into the ground. Walk your left hand out forward and long like down dog. To aid the twist, press your right hand down and attempt to drag it towards you. Press your left hand down and away from you. Walk your left hand back beside your face. Untwist, return to all fours. Tiger, opposite arm and leg. Lift your left leg parallel to the ground. Straighten your leg, point kneecap down, press tailbone down. Lift your right arm parallel to the ground, palm facing in. Stay here or reach back with your right hand and take hold of your left foot for elevated bow opposite arm and leg. Squeeze your shoulders together onto your back. Extend your limbs into the ground. Square your hips and upper body with the front of your mat. Kick into your hand and lift your foot high. Lower down to all fours. 
Lift your right leg parallel to the ground. Straighten your leg, point kneecap down, press tailbone down. Lift your left arm parallel to the ground, palm facing in. Stay here or reach back with your left hand and take hold of your right foot. Squeeze your shoulders together onto your back. Extend your limbs into the ground. Square your hips and upper body with the front of your mat. Kick into your hand and lift your foot high. Lower down to all fours. Tiger, same arm and leg. Walk your left hand an inch to the left and lean way into it. Lift your right leg parallel to the ground. Lift your right arm parallel to the ground. Stay here or reach back with your right hand and take hold of the inner edge of your right foot for elevated bow, same arm and leg. Squeeze your right shoulder onto your back. Press your left shoulder and hand down. To the best of your ability, square your hips and torso. Kick into your hand and lift your foot high. Lower down to all fours. Walk your right hand an inch to the right and lean weight into it. Lift your left leg parallel to the ground. Lift your left arm parallel to the ground. Stay here or reach back with your left hand and take hold of the inner edge of your left foot. Squeeze your left shoulder onto your back. Press your right shoulder and hand down. To the best of your ability, square your hips and torso, kick into your hand and lift your foot high. Lower down to all fours. Come into child's pose with your big toes together and your hips a bit wider than your knees. Extend your arms out long. Press your hands down and forward to move your hips down and back. Please make your way to standing. Crescent triceps. Stand in mountain pose with your feet as close together as is comfortable. Tone your thighs, tighten your kneecaps. Bring your arms overhead. Clasp your left triceps with your right hand. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, crescent to the right and push your hips to the left. Lift your chest and lift your chin out of your chest. Kick your left heel into the ground and create length from your left heel up through your left fingertips. Inhale, return to center and raise both arms overhead. Exhale, arms by sides. Bring your arms overhead. Clasp your right triceps with your left hand. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, crescent to the left and push your hips to the right. Lift your chest and lift your chin out of your chest. Kick your right heel into the ground and create length from your right heel up through your right fingertips. Inhale, return to center and raise both arms overhead. Exhale, arms by sides. Tree pose. Bring your right heel to your inner left ankle, hands to hips. With your straight leg, tone your thigh and tighten your kneecap. Stand down strong through your left heel. Feel how deep within your hip socket you can kick your upper thigh all the way down through your left heel. Stay here and work on rooting your left leg into the ground or reach down with your right hand and bring your right heel to your inner left thigh. If balance is tough, lower your heel to your ankle again. Stay here with your hands on your hips or lift your arms overhead, elbows straight. 
Lift your chest, lift your chin, reach your arms up and back. Lower your foot. Bring your left heel to your inner right ankle, hands to hips. With your straight leg, tone your thigh and tighten your kneecap. Stand down strong through your right heel. Kick your upper thigh all the way down through your right heel. Stay here and work on rooting your right leg into the ground or reach down with your left hand and bring your left heel to your inner right thigh. Stay here with your hands on your hips or lift your arms overhead, elbows straight. Lift your chest, lift your chin, reach your arms up and back. Lower your foot. Power pose, hands bound. Bring your feet as close together as is comfortable. Interlace your fingers behind your back and squeeze your shoulders together on your back. As long as your shoulders stay back, begin to or straighten your arms. Bend your knees, thighs to or towards parallel. Round your back and bring your forehead to or towards your knees, arms to or towards vertical. Squeeze your thighs in, separate your ankle and knee bones. Lean back onto your heels. Inhale, return to standing. Eagle, bend your knees and come into a gentle squat. Bring your forearms together in front of your torso. Great place to stay. Or swing your right arm underneath your left arm and hold your shoulders with your hands. Place the backs of your hands together or place your palms together. Stay here or cross your right leg over your left leg and either single or double wrap if you can do it comfortably. Sit deep towards thigh parallel, lean back onto your heel. Squeeze your thighs in, bring your head and torso over your hips. Uncross your legs and arms. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, arms by sides. Bend your knees and come into a gentle squat. Bring your forearms together in front of your torso great place to stay, or swing your left arm underneath your right arm and hold your shoulders with your hands, place the backs of your hands together, or place your palms together. Stay here, or cross your left leg over your right leg, and either single or double wrap. Sit deep, lean back onto your heel, squeeze thighs in, bring your head and torso over your hips. Uncross your legs and arms. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, arms by sides. Step to the back of your mat and face the front of your mat. Warrior three, lift your arms overhead and press your palms together, straighten your elbows. Step your left foot forward into a lunge. Bring your torso and arms parallel to the ground. Keep your back foot down. Square your hips, sink deep into the hinge of your left hip, and attempt to ground your sit bone without wobbling. If you can ground your hip without wobbling, feel free to straighten your back leg. If you can't, work at this stage. Remember, growth happens in stages and it isn't wise to skip steps. Lengthen your torso and arms forward, gaze forward. Step forward, reach your arms overhead. Lower your arms by your sides. Step to the back of your mat. Lift your arms overhead and press your palms together. Straighten your elbows. Step your right foot forward into a lunge. Bring your torso and arms parallel to the ground. Keep your back foot down, square your hips. Sink deep into the hinge of your right hip and attempt to ground your sit bone without wobbling. Lengthen your torso and arms forward, gaze forward. Step forward, arms overhead. Lower your arms by your sides. Step to the back of your mat. 
Levitating Sage. Bring your hands to your hips. Lift your right leg parallel to the ground. Straighten your leg and turn it out slightly. Stay here or lift your arms overhead. Lower your leg, lower your arms. Bring your hands to your hips. Lift your left leg towards parallel to the ground. Straighten your leg and turn it out slightly. Stay here or lift your arms overhead. Lower your leg, lower your arms. Standing Revolve Sage. Bring your hands to your hips. Bend both knees slightly. Bend your right knee into your chest. With your left hand, take hold of the outer edge of your right foot. Twist your torso to the right. Kick your foot into your hand and press your hand into your foot. Lift your chest to bring your spine vertical. Maybe take your right hand back parallel to the ground and gaze back towards your hand. If you can keep your torso vertical, maybe straighten your standing leg. Maybe straighten your right leg. Release, lower down. Bring your hands to your hips. Bend both knees slightly. Bend your left knee into your chest. With your right hand, take hold of the outer edge of your left foot. Twist your torso to the left. Kick your foot into your hand and press your hand into your foot. Lift your chest to bring your spine vertical. Maybe take your left hand back parallel to the ground and gaze back towards your hand. If you can keep your torso vertical, maybe straighten your standing leg. Maybe straighten your left leg. Release, lower down. Hand to big toe variation. Bend your right knee and from the outside of your leg, take hold of your knee with your right hand, left hand to hip. Stand down strong from your left hip to your left heel. Take your right knee out to the side. Return your leg to center, lower down. Bend your left knee and from the outside of your leg, take hold of your knee with your left hand, right hand to hip. Stand down strong from your right hip to your right heel. Take your left knee out to the side. Return your leg to center, lower down. Come to mountain pose at the back of your mat. High lunge. Bring your hands to your hips. Bend your right knee and in one big movement, step your right foot to the front of your mat coming into a lunge. Square your hips, tighten your back kneecap, press your right hip bone and crease down. Squeeze your shoulders and elbows back. Stay here or bring your arms overhead. Lower your left fingertips to the ground inside of your right leg. Twist your torso to the right and lift your right arm vertical. Line up your head and hips with your front foot. Revolved lunge. Lower your hand, step back, down dog. Bend your knees slightly and walk your hands back to meet your feet and stand up. Bring your hands to your hips, bend your left knee and in one movement, step your left foot to the front of your mat coming into a lunge. Square your hips, tighten your back kneecap, press your left hip bone and crease down. 
squeeze your shoulders and elbows back, stay here or bring your arms overhead. Lower your right fingertips to the ground inside of your left leg. Twist your torso to the left and lift your left arm vertical. Line up your head and hips with your front foot. Lower your hand, step back into downward dog. Monkey lunge. Step your right foot to the front of your mat coming into a lunge. Lower your back knee, top of foot to the ground. Point your left inner thigh back, square your hips. Press both feet down evenly. Move your hips forward and down. Grow your thighs out of their sockets. Stay here or lift your torso and bring your hands to your hips. Stay here or raise both arms vertical. Lower your arms, twist your torso, and bring your left shoulder or elbow outside of your right knee. Place and press your palms together, point your right elbow up. Line up your head and hips with your front foot. Stay here or curl your back toes under and straighten your back leg for twisted lunge. Lower your hands. Step back, downward dog. Step your left foot forward to the front of your mat coming into a lunge. Lower your back knee, top of foot to the ground. Point your right inner thigh back. Square your hips. Press both feet down evenly. Move your hips forward and down. Grow your thighs out of their sockets. Stay here or lift your torso and bring your hands to your hips. Stay here or raise both arms vertical. Lower your arms. Twist your torso and bring your right shoulder or elbow to the outside of your left knee. Place and press your palms together, point your left elbow up. Line up your head and hips with your front foot. Stay here or curl your back toes under and straighten your back leg. Lower your hands, step back, downward dog. Step your right foot forward to come into a lunge. Lower your back knee, top of foot to the ground. Stay here or lift your torso and bring your hands to your hips. Squeeze your shoulders and elbows together on your back. Stay here or interlace your fingers behind your back. As long as your shoulders stay back, begin to or straighten your arms. Move your hips down and forward. Lift your chest, look up and open your throat. Stretch your shoulders and hands back. Lift your wrists for monkey lunge, hands bound. Lower your hands, step back, downward dog. Step your left foot forward to come into a lunge. Lower your back knee, top of foot to the ground. Stay here or lift your torso and bring your hands to your hips. Squeeze your shoulders and elbows together on your back. Stay here or interlace your fingers behind your back. As long as your shoulders stay back, begin to or straighten your arms. Move your hips down and forward. Lift your chest, look up and open your throat. Stretch your shoulders and hands back. Lift your wrists. Lower your hands, step back, downward dog. Pigeon. Bring your right knee forward outside of your right wrist coming into pigeon. Line up your right heel with your left hip. Move your hips down and back. Move your back foot in a bit more narrow and point your toes. 
straighten your back leg and kick the top of your foot into the ground. Press your right knee into the ground. Squeeze your knees towards each other. Press your hands down and lift your chest. Stay here or crawl your hands out long like down dog and fold your torso over your right thigh. Press your hands down and forward, root your hips down and back. Stay here or bring your left elbow in front of your right knee. Place and press your palms together, point your right elbow up. Twist your torso to the right, look down, out, or up. Press your right knee down and to the left. Untwist, return to pigeon. Roll over onto your right hip in the inside edge of your left knee. Bring your right hand outside of your right knee and turn your fingers out slightly, left hand to your hip. Gaze back at your back leg and line up your back knee with your front knee. Bend your left knee and take hold of your left ankle. Squeeze your shoulders together onto your back. Lengthen both arms out of your torso and press your right hand down into the ground. Thrust your pelvis forward. Squeeze your knees towards each other. Kick your left leg into your hand and lengthen both legs out of their sockets. Lift your chest, lift your chin. Let go of your foot, recenter into pigeon. Press yourself back to down dog. Bring your left knee forward outside of your left wrist, coming into pigeon. Line up your left heel with your right hip. Move your hips down and back. Move your back foot in a bit more narrow and point your toes. Straighten your back leg and kick the top of your foot into the ground. Press your left knee into the ground. Squeeze your knees towards each other. Press your hands down and lift your chest. Stay here or crawl your hands out long like down dog and fold your torso over your left thigh. Press your hands down and forward, root your hips down and back. Stay here or bring your right elbow in front of your left knee. Place and press your palms together, point your left elbow up. Twist your torso to the left, look down, out or up. Press your left knee down and to the right. Untwist, return to pigeon. Roll over onto your left hip in the inside edge of your right knee. Bring your left hand outside of your left knee and turn your fingers out slightly, right hand to your hip. Gaze back at your back leg and line up your back knee with your front knee. Bend your right knee and take hold of your right ankle. Squeeze your shoulders together onto your back. Lengthen both arms out of your torso and press your left hand down into the ground. Thrust your pelvis forward. Squeeze your knees towards each other. Kick your right leg into your hand and lengthen both legs out of their sockets. Lift your chest, lift your chin. Let go of your foot, recenter into pigeon. Press yourself back to down dog. Bring your inner ankles together, then shift your body weight forward, coming into plank with your knees on or off of the ground. Grip the ground with your fingertips, press your index knuckles down, press your tailbone down, squeeze your thighs in. Press your hands down to capacity and attempt to drag your hands apart and attempt to drag your hands back towards your feet. Stay here or lift your left leg parallel to the ground. Straighten your leg, point your foot, point your kneecap down. 
relax your right heel back. Lower your foot. Lift your right leg parallel to the ground. Straighten your leg, point your foot, point your kneecap down. Relax your left heel back. Lower your foot. Then lower the front of your body to the ground. Half frog. Bring your elbows to the ground a little bit forward of and underneath your shoulders, palms down in front of you. Press your shoulders and elbows down and back, lift your chest. Squeeze your thighs in, press your tailbone down. Sphinx pose. Stay here or bring your left arm parallel with the front edge of your mat. With your right hand, reach back and take hold of the inner edge of your right foot. Move your heel towards your hip, clamp your knee closed. Move your right shoulder back, point your right elbow up. Maybe curl your fingers over your toes. Square your hips and shoulders with the front of your mat and bring your right hip back to the ground. Squeeze your thighs in, tailbone down, press your left elbow down, lift your chest. Slowly release your foot. Switch sides. Bring your right arm parallel to the front edge of your mat. With your left hand, reach back and take hold of the inner edge of your left foot. Move your heel towards your hip, clamp your knee closed. Move your left shoulder back, point your left elbow up. Maybe curl your fingers over your toes. Square your hips and shoulders with the front of your mat and bring your left hip back to the ground. Squeeze your thighs in, tailbone down, press right elbow down, lift your chest. Slowly release your foot. Make a pillow with your hands and rest your forehead. Press back, down dog. Twisted down dog. Press your hands down and forward, extend your shoulders into the ground. Tone your thighs, tighten your kneecaps. Stay here in down dog or bend your left knee. Twist your torso to the left and with your right hand, reach back and take hold of your left calf. Do or don't straighten your left leg. Press your left hand down and forward. Gaze up past your left armpit. Untwist, return to down dog. Second side, bend your right knee, twist your torso to the right, and with your left hand, reach back and take hold of your right calf. Do or don't straighten your right leg. Press your right hand down and forward. Gaze up past your right armpit. Untwist, return to down dog. Bend your knees a bit and walk your hands back to meet your feet coming into a forward fold. Bend your knees enough so that you feel no stretch in the backs of your legs. Maybe rest your upper body on your thighs. Place your palms on the ground. Press your hands down and forward. Press your feet down and back. Keeping your feet in place, attempt to drag them apart from each other until you feel your outer glutes tone. Bring your hands to your hips, squeeze your shoulders and elbows together onto your back, and come on up to standing. Then, have a seat on your mat and come into staff pose facing the long edge of your mat. Seated angle. Bring your legs out wide, 90 degrees or wider. Use your hands to move your hamstrings out from under your thighs everything under your sit bones straight back. Place your hands on the ground behind your hips. 
lift your chest, tone your thighs, tighten your kneecaps, point knees and toes up, flare your toes, press your hands down and back and thrust your pelvis forward actively. From your upper thighs, grow your legs out of your hip sockets and extend out through the soles of your feet. Grow your thighs long. With your hands, take hold of your inner knees. Bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet to the ground, inner edges of your feet together. Interlace your fingers around your shins and allow your legs to fall out. Rest. Fire logs. For this next exercise, it may help to have a small pillow, but it's not necessary. Stage one, come into a normal cross-legged seated position and fold forward, arms long like down dog, done. Or come into fire logs by bringing your right shin parallel with the edge of your mat. Then place your left heel on top of your right knee. If your left knee doesn't touch your right heel, put a pillow in between your shins. Flex both ankles, toes towards knees strongly. Flare your toes. These actions will protect your knees. Kick the outer edges of your feet down like karate chopping the ground with your feet. Stay upright or fold forward. Press your hands down and forward, root your hips down and back. Wherever you are, lift your torso and uncross your legs coming into a momentary staff pose. Tone your thighs, tighten your kneecaps. Switch sides. Stage one, come into a normal cross-legged seated position with the opposite cross and fold forward. Done. Or come into fire logs by bringing your left shin parallel with the edge of your mat. Then place your right heel on top of your left knee. If your right knee doesn't touch your left heel, Put a pillow in between your shins. Flex both ankles, toes towards knees strongly. Flare your toes. Kick the outer edges of your feet down like karate chopping the ground. Stay upright or fold forward. Press your hands down and forward, root your hips down and back. Lift your torso, uncross your legs, and come into staff pose. Tone your thighs and tighten your kneecaps. Come to standing at the middle of your mat, facing the front of your mat. Natarajasana, dancing yogi. Bring your hands to your hips. Bend your right knee and take hold of the outer edge of your right foot. Press your tailbone down, squeeze your shoulders back. Done. Or crawl your right hand around your foot and take hold of the inner edge of your right foot. Bring your left arm parallel to the ground, palm facing down. Kick your foot into your hand and with the strength of your thigh, begin to lift your back leg. Begin to hinge forward. Square your shoulders and hips with the front of your mat. Lower your right hip, lift your chest, lift your chin. Lower down, bring your hands together at heart center. Take a few breaths. Second side. Bring your hands to your hips. Bend your left knee and take hold of the outer edge of your left foot. Press your tailbone down, squeeze your shoulders back. Done. Or crawl your left hand around your foot and take hold of the inner edge of your left foot. Bring your right arm parallel to the ground, palm facing down. 
Kick your foot into your hand and with the strength of your thigh, begin to lift your leg. Begin to hinge forward. Square your shoulders and hips with the front of your mat. Lower your left hip. Lift your chest. Lift your chin. Lower down, bring your hands together at heart center. Take a few breaths. Lie down on your mat. Double diamond. Bring your feet as wide as your mat and your knees into touch. Allow your knees to fall and stagger to the right. Return your knees to center. Allow your knees to fall and stagger to the left. Return your knees to center. Straighten your legs along your mat. Recline Big Toe Prep. Bend your right knee and interlace your fingers behind your right thigh. Straighten your leg and point the sole of your foot straight up or slightly forward. Pull your hands into your thigh and press your thigh into your hands. Press your thigh away from you strongly. Pin your right hip to the ground. Grow both thighs out of their sockets. Lower your right leg next to your left leg. Bend your left knee and interlace your fingers behind your left thigh. Straighten your leg and point the sole of your foot straight up or slightly forward. Pull your hands into your thigh and press your thigh into your hands. Press your thigh away from you strongly. Pin your left hip to the ground. Grow both thighs out of their sockets. Lower your left leg next to your right leg. Happy baby. Bend both knees and hug your thighs in towards your chest with your hands. Separate your knees and from the insides of your legs, take hold of the outer edges of your feet. Bring your knees wide. Pull your hands into your feet and kick your feet into your hands. Kick out through your feet. Then, feel how it feels to initiate this same kick from your knees. Then, feel how it feels to initiate this kick from deep in your hip socket. Kick out from your hips. The point where your butt meets the top of your thigh, press up. Bring your legs back to center, interlace your fingers around your shins, and hug your knees into your chest once more. Allow your lower back to round. Lengthen your legs along the mat for Shavasana. Separate your legs as wide as the mat and allow your feet to fall out to the sides. 
bring your arms alongside your torso and point your palms up. Make any minor adjustments needed to be comfortable. Then lie motionless. We end where we began, in Shavasana. I invite you to use this moment to acknowledge your personal efforts, to know all of the life challenges that have contributed to your growth, to give a nod even to how much you have grown in this past hour, to remember that even if you don't feel like you are making progress, that every step is in service to your growth. On this path, no effort is ever wasted. Namaste.